Dear God, help me share your word this morning. We are called and invited today to renew our faith. We are unfailingly welcomed by God this and every day to love, to share what we have with each other, to wait expectantly and eagerly on Christ, to wait readily and happily for the coming of the Son of God. I pray that our faith frees in us, that it invites for us, that it gives us the grace to be generous, to share what we can with others, to be a joy-filled servant, to be a loving presence to ourselves and to others. Christ welcomes from us our desire to have a deep longing, an unyielding yearning to love, to finally rest serenely and completely in a living, loving faith. A faith strong enough to enable us to leave anxieties behind, to help us manage the oftentimes stressful moments of petty impatience, and to emerge what, from what seems to be perpetual waiting for the more difficult and overwhelming crises to work out, for our confusions to finally become clear, for our health to get better, for the frequent times we need a loving hand and an understanding heart to guide us through the darkest of moments of our most private fears and lingering doubts. I believe that today. I pray on it every day. Because if we are living in the spirit of Jesus, then we cannot dwell in the spirit of fear. Let us pray. Dear God, I pray that each and every day we may know you more deeply and trust you more willingly, believe in your everlasting, unfalteringly gentle, powerful, redeeming love in our lives, that we may trust and see your presence and the real possibility of your grace in ourselves and in the lives of those who are family and friends and also in those who we may only know right now as strangers. I pray for us to be as fully present as we can be to God, even in the most unexpected times and ordinary of days, even as we feel we are waiting still for Christ's salvation and love, even as we wait and pray on your word in the everyday moments of our lives. I pray that we may come to see our waiting on Christ as Jesus sees waiting, as an act of faithfulness, the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. And so I pray today that we may be present to the one who is always already present, to the Christ who returns and dwells within us still, who is here right now, among us, waiting for us to come home. I pray that we may always be ready to listen for his knock at our heart's door, to watch and to be alert and to have no fear. Christ invites us to be present to the reality of God in each other, throughout the world, and within ourselves. I pray we know a God who is present in the ordinary circumstances of our lives, especially in our patient, joyful waiting. I believe that Jesus is not just inviting us to be awake, and to be ready, and to be watchful, he is calling for us to be fully alive and to remain alive in his word, to live a loving life toward ourselves and to others. As my own father once preached 50 years ago, if it is true that there is such a God, then you and I have come to the right place. We have paid the right price and heard the right word. We have found ourselves and had our souls saved. Glory be to God.